Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Thali Bakhada. Let's take a look at the headlines first. President condemns burning of Quran in Sweden. Remove the use of two anesthetic drugs. Import restrictions on 300 more essential goods to be removed. An outstanding electricity bill of 8 million to be reached from three hospitals in Ratnapura. Sri Lankan fishermen attacked with petrol bomb at sea. The undefeated Sri Lankan team returns to Sri Lanka. Now, let's get into these stories in detail. <laughs> President Vikramasinghe condemned the Quran burning in Sweden, calling it a violation of freedom of worship and criticized the silence of the Human Rights Council. He emphasized the need to define the limits of freedom of expression and involve the Commonwealth in promoting global human rights. Dr. Samanrat Nayaka, Additional Secretary of the Ministry of Health, stated that the Ministry of Health says that the two anesthetic drugs that caused many problems have been removed from use. For that, steps have been taken to import another anesthetic drug and they are scheduled to arrive in Sri Lanka tomorrow. Thursday, State Minister of Finance Ranjit Simbalapitya said today steps will be taken to remove the import restrictions on 300 more essential goods soon. The Electricity Board has informed the Secretary of the Ministry of Health through a fax message that the electricity bills of Ratnapura Teaching General Hospital, Ambilipitya District Hospital and Thaligama District Hospital are not paid before the 14th. Salon Electricity Board also states that the letter related to the outstanding bills of these hospitals has been forwarded to the Director General of Health Services. A Sri Lankan fisherman was injured when his trawler collided with a suspected Indonesian fishing vessel. The foreign crew allegedly attacked the trawler with a petrol bomb. The Sri Lanka Navy rescued the injured fisherman and is investigating the incident. The Sri Lankan cricket team, which finished the qualifying tournament in Zimbabwe undefeated, has returned to the island. However, the captain of the Sri Lankan cricket team, Dasun Shanaka, did not come with this team. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup. For more information, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk.